Proverbs 10. The blessing, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich. What makes rich? Talk to me. What makes you rich? So, people are looking for the riches instead of looking for the blessing. The blessing is what makes you rich. The blessing is the vehicle that drives you into the land of riches. That's the blessing. So if you can jump onto the blessing bus, you will end up in the destiny called wealth. If you jump onto the, the blessing bus, you will end up in the destiny called wealth wealth or the destination called wealth anyone in their right mind wants to be wealthy so the bible tells us here that what makes you to get there is the blessing the blessing say it again say the blessing say father i need your blessing i need the blessing of the lord because it makes rich from now going forward i will not pursue riches I will pursue the blessing. The, the riches are a byproduct of the blessing. So I will look for the blessing. Whatever is required to get the blessing in this season, teach me. I will do it so I can get rich. Wealth and riches shall be in my house to prove that the blessing is upon my life. Hallelujah. Say the blessing I've discovered. It is the thing that will make me rich. So I want that blessing. Whatever is required to get that blessing, I will do it. Jehovah, put your blessing on my hand. Put it on my hand so that whatever I do from today going forward shall receive results. Results are a byproduct of that blessing i will produce results in the name of jesus you can be blessed to the level that you become you can become a custodian of the blessing a carrier a carrier which means a distributor somebody say a distributor can i get an amen when you look for a product, the best place to look for a product is to find it from authorized distributors. And you see an authorized distributor because they represent what they are selling. <laughs> Say the blessing. Say it again. Say the blessing. Deuteronomy 28 verse number 2. The Bible says the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. As I'm speaking, it is coming upon you. It is coming upon I said the blessing is coming upon you and it must come heavy duty upon you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus. The blessing is the cure for poverty. We cure poverty in your life by reason of the blessing. I said we cure hardship in the name of Jesus. The blessing will cure anything called hardship. Versus Why? When the blessing comes, things become easy. 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 The blessing makes things easy. I decree whatever was hard must become easy. I said it must become easy. I prophesy whatever was hard must become easy. I, I prophesy be a recipient. Be a recipient of the blessing. I said be a carrier of the blessing. Be a partaker of the grace. Paul said I, you are partakers of the grace together with me. Philippians 1 I think verse 7. Partakers of the grace together. I, I don't believe in being the only one on this level. You are coming up in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. By reason of the blessing you are coming up. I prophesy. You, you are coming up. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But things were down but you are coming up. 
I release an anointing. You are coming up. You are coming up by fire, by force. You are coming up by thunder. You are coming up by thunder. I decree it. I prophesy by reason of the blessing you are being lifted. Why? The blessing is a lifting agent. It lifts up the poor. Psalm 103 verse 7. I declare and I decree you are being lifted out of poverty. Up from poverty. Up, up and out of poverty. I release your lifting. I prophesy your lifting. I declare your lifting. Why? Because of the blessing. We want a blessing that lifts. I can't con con contract or contact the blessing and remain the same. Never. 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 It doesn't matter. But by reason of this blessing, I declare and I decree you are being lifted. I prophesy even the, 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 the level of transactions you are doing. The level of transactions is coming up. Come up higher. Come up higher. Come up higher. The blessing qualifies you for bigger things. I qualify you by reason of the blessing. I declare and I decree. By reason of the blessing of the Lord, you are qualified. You are qualified for six-figure transactions. You are qualified for seven-figure transactions. I speak, I declare, I decree. You are qualified. Jehovah, Holy Ghost, locate all those who are due for six-figure, seven-figure transactions. I release it and I declare it in the name of Jesus. The church must come up higher. Enough of drug dealers driving my S-Class. We need, we need children of God driving them. So I open the door for your next level. Mamaka Farwa Kunze. The Bible says Jericho was tightly shut. Uh, nothing coming in, nothing going out. Uh, it means that the blessing, that this level was had been closed. But by reason of this new dimension, we open up new dimensions. Uh, to Kia Kia, it's coming to an end. I, pro I promise you. I prophesy and I declare it's coming to an end in the name of Marino Tenga. Marino Ungana, the blessing, the blessing causes you to amass wealth. You are amassing it. It doesn't matter that there's no president, that it has not happened before. I declare and I decree it is happening for you. I said it is happening for you. I decree it is happening for you. People will say what has happened to you. Your answer will be the blessing. Romans 1 11, how I long to see you, I was longing to see you the whole day, that I may impart some spiritual gift unto you, results, that in the end you may be established. I declare and I decree, where you are and where you are going is day and night. Uh, it's night and day, Kalata, where you are going is day, where you are is night. Ah, Weeping may endure for a night. But today I change your season. I prophesy a change of season. Why? When the blessing comes, your season changes. Your season changes. I decree a change of season. I prophesy a change of season. While others are saying things are tough, because you, you know you receive the blessing, things must become easier for you. I said, you no more. No more. No No more. No more. Why would you No more. No more kuomerwa. Because the blessing comes there to make life easier. It is that supernatural push. Heaven is pushing you into the next realm. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Every, every, every. Today I'm here as the angel of that blessing. And I decree you are being blessed with every not some blessings every every one of the covenant 58 blessings receive in the name of jesus i said every one of them receive them i prophesy receive them say my father my god i receive that blessing joshua 1 verse 45 joshua 1 verse 45 not a word failed or any good thing which the lord had spoken to the house of israel it all came to pass there's nothing that I'm saying tonight that will not come to pass. All of it, 
all of it will... Ah, yeah. when your testimony comes you will not be shocked you'll be excited but you'll not be shocked why because you are expecting you are expe if you're expecting visitors and, and and the intercom rings you are not shocked you are happy but you are not shocked because you were expecting now i decree you everything i say from tonight i speak joshua 21 verse 45 and i declare and i decree all these words will come to pass jeremiah 1 verse number 12 jeremiah 1 verse number 12 he says you have seen well you have seen well i'm ready to perform my word i'm ready to perform my word so i speak god's word so that he performs and i speak that word over your life what is the word you are blessed number 6 24 25 to 26 you are blessed i said you are blessed may the lord bless you 24 may the lord bless you and keep you i speak it over your life you are blessed and you'll be kept part of the blessing is to keep you may god bless and keep bless and keep because the moment you are blessed the enemy looks for you the bible says when the when the philistines heard that david were anointed all of them went to look for him all the witches some of them can even they can just renew their witching contracts because they heard that there's a blessing series at kpm so i decree you are you are, you are blessed and you are shielded and you see and and, and david heard and uh, uh, now when the philistines heard that david had been anointed king over israel all the philistines went to search for him can you see that so sometimes attacks start because you've been blessed so let me speak and declare and decree you not only are you blessed but you are shielded i command a hedge of fire round about you why because you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed that blessing must make you rich but the riches will not be the last chapter of your life it will never be said of you that after you finished your house you died die for what i said you will not die but you will live no sickness no disease no covid no flu will, will, will touch you part of the blessing is to shield you job 1 verse 3 to 5 at some point the enemy he attacked job and in fact god recommended job he said have you considered my servant job and, and the devil says ah, don't play with me he said have you not put a hedge of fire around about him around about his house him personal around about his house family around about all that he has all his businesses a triple hedge so your you as a person and your family and your businesses cannot be touched that means the devil tried on the person of job and failed he tried on his family and failed he tried on his business and failed i release a triple failure of the enemy the enemy will fail to touch you the enemy will fail to touch your family the enemy will fail to touch your business your asset base what concerns you i declare and i decree access denied access denied sickness is access denies denied disease is access denied poverty access denied why the blessing part of the blessing is protection 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 divine defense may god shield you may god shield you i release a shield round about you round about your household round about your business round about the works of your hands i declare and decree there will never be any breaking in your life personally you will not be pickpocketed your house there are no breakings your business there are no breakings why you are blessed and protected say i am blessed i am super blessed first chronicles chapter number four verse number ten he said jabez said jabez cried out you need to cry out cried for the blessing <laughs> Jabez cried for the blessing. Why? You must cry out for the blessing. Then your crying will stop. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you get the blessing, you'll be hearing about poverty next door. You'll be hearing that things are tight next door. Tight, tight for who? 
you, you are receiving what will loosen the tight things. Shout, I'm blessed. He cried and he said, Oh, Lord God, bless me indeed. So you can be blessed, but you can move to the next level. Blessed indeed. And he knew that if that blessing indeed comes, the next thing is enlarging of territory. I prophesy blessing indeed, which equals to enlargement of territory, enlargement of asset base, enlargement of bank balance, enlargement of influence. I prophesy supernatural enlargement upon you. May God enlarge you. I said, may your God, who is also my God, may he enlarge you. May he enlarge you. I declare and I decree, the knowledge we are giving you, we are adding power to it. I said, we are adding power to it. I prophesy a new dimension of power. I release it in the name of Jesus. Receive that dimension of power. What is that power? The power of the blessing. The power of the blessing. You are receiving it already. What is the blessing? It is an empowerment. An empowerment. Kupua simba rema results. I release that power. Simba iroro. Richaito ato What was not moving must begin to move. I prophesy your things must begin to move. I declare. I said your things will begin to move. From today going forward, your things will begin to move. In the name of Jesus, I said your things begin to move. Proverbs 10, verse 6 to 7. Say, I want the blessing. He says, blessings are upon the head of the righteous. I prophesy. Stretch your right hand towards me. I release the blessing. Put it on your head. He said, blessings are on the head. I place the blessing. The blessing upon your head. He anointed my head with oil and my cup runs over. I don't need to anoint your cup. I just have to anoint your head. What is on your head is what determines what's happening in your life. I prophesy the blessing upon your head. Say, Father, prophetically, I receive the blessing upon my head. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Give me verse 7. Say, the blessing is upon my head in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, increase your blessing upon my head in the name of Jesus. Genesis 12. You can put your hand down. Genesis 12. God said to Abraham, get out of your father's house. Right? He says, go to a land that I will show you. So already by getting out, you could see that there's land. If you get out of your father's house rituals, I promise you there's land. I prophesy land to you. I declare land to you. As you come out of rituals, land must come to you. I declare and I decree anyone under the sound of my voice who is truly receiving and is truly connected to tonight's service, whether here or online, I declare and I decree land must come to you. There is land. You don't know where it is, but God will show you. May God show you your land. He said, I will show you. Next verse. He said, I will show you. He said, show me, Lord. Say it again. Say, show me, Lord. He said, I will make you a great nation. You can become a nation. You can become a nation. You can become a nation. That nation is called Israel. That is Jacob. A trickster can become a nation. I will make you a great nation. Why? Because I will bless you. There is a blessing that makes you an international entity. The level of blessing upon your business that will make your business in international. Internationally recognized. Wherever you go on planet Earth, you will be recognized. You will be recognized because the blessing is upon you. I said that international blessing is coming upon some people.
Joseph is a fruitful bow. I'll come back to my verse. Joseph is a fruitful bow. Genesis 49, 20 to 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow. A bow by the well. His branches shall run over Botswana. His branches shall run over South Africa. His branches shall run over Malawi. I decree you will run over. A running over blessing. I said international. I said you are crossing borders. I said you are a line, you are a line breaker, you are a barrier breaker, you are a limit breaker, you are a trailblazer. The blessing will make you a trailblazer. There are things that will start with you. Shout, I receive that. Or say it again, say I receive it for myself. Say it again, say I receive it for myself. Verse 25. By the God of your father who will help you and by the mighty who will bless you with the blessings of heaven above. Are you here? I release the blessings that come from heaven above. The blessings from above are above all. The blessing of heaven must come upon you. The blessing must come upon you. I release the blessing. Go back to the normal thing. I release the blessing upon your life. The blessings from heaven. Blessings from heaven are, are blessings that cannot be corrupted. They can't be corrupted. I declare and I decree. The blessing that is from heaven that is coming upon you. It can't be corrupted. It can't be hindered. It can't be blocked. It can't be frustrated. That blessing is coming heavy upon you. The blessings of heaven. Comma. The blessings of the deep. That lie beneath. Underlying blessings. That means that these are the blessings that come from the earth. So there are blessings that come from the heavens. Then there are blessings that come from beneath. So you shall be blessed from above and you shall be blessed from beneath. I decree, wherever you set your feet, I prophesy you are being blessed. I said you are being blessed. Wherever your feet are, you are being blessed. Why? You are being blessed from beneath. So it doesn't matter whether you're in Zimbabwe or Australia, whether you're in Europe or America, the blessings are coming from the blessings are coming from beneath. Bring him here. Have you heard of the Kuchera Tsoka? Kuchera Tsoka is trying to affect you from underneath to be cursed from the ground. Remember, Cain was cursed from the ground. Today I bless you from the ground. <laughs> if your feet were affected or if you were be bewitched by something that was dark from beneath. We uprooted and we bless you from beneath. The soles of your feet shall be blessed from now. And you will possess. You will possess. You will begin to handle things. Those of you who are into farming or mining. Be blessed from beneath. Be blessed from beneath. Go back to my scripture. Be, back, be blessed from beneath. Be blessed from beneath. The blessings of the breast and of the womb. He's not talking about your mother here. The Lord is the multi-breasted one. El Shaddai means the multi-breasted one. Be fed today by the multi-breasted one. The blessings of the multi-breasted one. I prophesy them upon your life. I release this over your life in the name of Jesus. You are I hear the Lord saying as the multi blessed one, he is feeding all the hungry areas in your life. 
By reason of the blessing, put this man on the altar. By reason of the, of the blessing, every area of your life that is hungry, the multi breasted one is feeding. The blessings of the womb, there are things that are in divine wombs. There are things that the Lord is cooking. There are people under the sound of my voice. There are blessings that are in divine wombs. Uh, I declare and I decree you will partake of whatever is in divine wombs that is positive. May you be a partake of what God is cooking. God is cooking some things for you. I pray that you are a partaker. I said you are a partaker. Receive that level of blessing in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands. Some of you in your workplace, your boss will be blessed because of you. Genesis 30 verse 27. Because you are connected to this ministry, I declare and I decree. Labor will say stay, which means you'll never be retrenched. I have found by experience or by divination that I am blessed because of you. I prophesy over your life because of you, because of you, the organization for which you work. I declare and I decree it will succeed. And I declare your boss must know it. If they know they are blessed because of you, they'll give you shares. Huh. I said they'll give you shares. And they stay. Please stay. Please stay. The last job where I worked, my boss said, please stay. Because I, I would sell an average of 60 cars a month. So when I left, 60 cars a month were leaving. Please stay. Because the blessing was upon you. Are you getting it? I decree. The please stay grace. stay because I have found that I am blessed because of you. Can you imagine a whole organization attributed its success to one individual? One individual. There's no ways your boss can mishandle you when he knows that the company is being blessed because of you. I, I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus, something is coming on you. When the blessing comes, it locates where the problem is. Say I'm blessed. Say I'm blessed. Look at this. The blessing of your father have excelled the blessing of your ancestors. So my blessings are my level. Chandra kukupai chichino pura mzimu. It's there, it's there, it's there. I prophesy that the blessing of your spiritual father that he is giving you now, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will supersede. It, <laughs> it, <laughs> now, what the blessing then does is it then begins to locate the raw materials for the prophecy. Ukasta da my Jews, my Jews are not big. Huh? They are an unusual people. Huh? Jesus, what did you say? 
they are just blessed. This one. Now, listen. There's something that we have not caught there. We celebrate the Jewish nation. Okay? Because the Bible says that we need to celebrate them. Never mind the politics. Mind the Bible. <laughs> but what we did not catch is that we are spiritual Jews. So what you see on the Jewish people, we were connected through Abraham. So if you don't believe it, you can't receive it. I want us to receive that blessing of being spiritual Jews. I activate that blessing. It comes through Abraham. Galatians. Find the scripture. It comes through Abraham. Uh, through a we connect to that blessing through the it's called the Abrahamic blessing. We connect to that blessing. I declare and I decree the blessing of Abraham. Yes, we connect to it. Is there this that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the black person? Ah, you've got to believe in the blessing of Abraham. It is a Jewish blessing. It is a Jewish blessing. And we connect to it. Christ died so we can connect. M many people struggle with this part. That's why they keep struggling. You'll be like a Jewish black person. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I release the blessing of Abraham. I declare the blessing of Abraham. He says, look to Abraham, your father, for I called him alone and I blessed him. So you look to that blessing. I decree the Jewish blessing, the Jewish dimension of blessing. Jews own many properties. May you become a spiritual Jew in the name of Jesus. He says, look to your father, Abraham. And Sarah, your mother who bore you, I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him. The blessing of Abraham is coming on you and is increasing you. So what you do with your hands, it is increasing. It is increasing. Shout, I receive the blessing. Say it again, say I receive the blessing. So when you read about Abraham's blessing, that is the blessing of the Jews. Isaac. Jacob, all those patriots. That's why we connect to those, to those blessings. But if you do it with understanding, look to Abraham, your father. I called him alone and blessed him. I refuse to be called and not blessed. Ah, calling is not blessing. I called him and I blessed him. Therefore, I increased him. Receive the blessing of increase. I said receive the blessing of increase. I prophesy your blessings must increase the results must increase I declare increase since I started following the Lord I, I never went down I don't believe in a better last year oh you're not catching that one it is the blessing of increasing I release that blessing. You will increase. You will multiply. You will multiply. You will multiply. You will increase. I declare you will increase. You will be enlarged. Psalm 71 21. On every side you shall increase. The blessing of increase on every side. Your life must get better, 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 better. How much better? Daniel 120. 10 times say the blessing that makes things better I receive that blessing in the name of Jesus in all 
all matters of wisdom and understanding. Daniel was examined and he was found ten times better. That will be said of you. That will be said of you. Where others fail, you will pass. Say ten times better. Come on, talk to me. Say ten times better. Say, Father, grant me the grace to be ten times better. Mm. While we are still in the proximity of Daniel, Daniel 2, verse 21 and 22, when you are blessed, you replace other people. You are, stretch your hands. You are receiving wisdom that will cause some kings to be removed and you to be put there. Organizations are always looking for people who are better. May you be found to be that person. The grace to be headhunted by organizations. I release that grace upon your life. They will not only will they headhunt you, but they will find you. I command divine placements, Mabasa. Mabasa, ni marinem soro. If you are going to be on a job, your salary must be better than some businesses' income. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I release that over your life. I release that over your life. Laura Mbaka system gave to me, and I need to go back to the time period four figures, four five. Yeah, can you can you pass a temperature of hundred? My two thousand gram bar system you have known. We've got to set a standard. Kubasa minimum salary one thousand. Ah yeah, I need someone to receive that. I said minimum salary one thousand. Minimum, minimum, minimum. A little one shall become a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> a little salary shall be a thousand. I put that as a minimum in this place. I decree it. A minimum salary, one thousand. I prophesy it. Tuluku bana nye ukutambira maritz namsuru. Why? The blessing. The ble Stop thinking economics. I'm placing the blessing on you. The blessing changes the limits. That's what it does. It changes the limits. We are changing the limits from now. Daniel 22 verse 22. Quickly. He says, He reveals secrets, deep and secret things. He knows what is in the dark places. Stretch your hands. When you are blessed, the Lord reveals strategies to you. Begin to pray that the blessing of divine strategies will come upon you. Divine strategies. You will be a strategist in an organization. You will be in the company's think tank. They, they, they will know if they need solutions, they must come to you. Like Joseph, you say, do this and live. I fear God. Re revelation upon revelation. Gastu ya pauri. Gastu mazano anodiwa ni ma organizations. They, they must come. They must come to you. People will be surprised how you thought of this thing, but but but, but they will not know that the blessing will come upon you and make you a supernatural thinker. A supernatural thinker. You will think things that others have never ever thought of. Stretch your hands and begin to pray that prayer. With invention, supernatural ideas. You would think what others never thought of. What others never thought of. You would think those things. Say, I receive these things for myself. Say it again. Say, I will receive these things for myself. Verse 46 to 48 of Daniel 2. Mm -hmm. Then the king fell on his face prostrate before Daniel and commanded that they should present an offering and incense to him. That means that they were, they were paying homage. They were looking, oh, who, who receives an offering and who receives incense? It's God. That means Daniel, that was 
when the blessing is upon you people must bow <laughs> Genesis 27 verse 38 and 39 and then we'll jump to Genesis 33 he says and Esau said to his father have you only one blessing my father say one blessing say one blessing say it again say one blessing it means that what Jacob was given by Isaac was just one blessing if you study what one blessing can do one the blessing one of the Lord makes it one so he was crying because in his mind the father only had what one blessing and he said bless me me also oh my father and Esau lifted up his voice and wept question what is he what is he weeping for huh how many blessings how many blessings it is said to pay Zinu. There are people who come here and they are more interested in me giving them $20 than me saying, Be blessed. If I say, Be blessed, you can go and get your own things. If you want to receive from my wallet, it means that your level is limited to what's in my wallet. But if I say, Be blessed, from the blessings above not my wallet from the blessings beneath from the blessing of the Lord international blessing not my wallet do you have any idea what the blessing does it means Hong Kong spiritual summons the blessing is powerful don't take the blessing for granted. If the devil wants to finish you, he will make you a fight, fight a man who can bless you. Bless me, oh my father. And he lifted up his eyes and wept. He cried for the blessing. You need to have an all night where you are just saying, bless me, me also. Bless me, me also. Jehovah, I cry out. I've seen you bless. I saw you bless my brother. I saw you bless my sister. Bless me also. Do you only have one blessing? Lord, bless me, me also. Me also. 39. You are trivialized. Tri you are looking at trivially what is major. You are trivializing it. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold! Behold! Special attention for special blessing. Behold! Your dwelling shall be <laughs> of the fatness of the earth. <laughs> Esau, Esau, Dubai, your dwelling. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the Jew from above. That means you are blessed from the earth and from above ah, yeah. maybe that maybe you lost your birthright maybe you lost your family blessing but today by desperation i said today by desperation the blessings of heaven the fatness of the earth what does that mean that the good parts of the earth there are good parts of the economy. There are good economies. There are good business models. The fatness of the earth. The rich part of the earth. And the Jew of heaven from above. 
if you miss what's on the earth, something will come from above. Yeah. He said to him, when you have the dominion, when you have the dominion, then shall the yoke of your brother come off your neck. So Jacob received the blessing because he then got it by getting the blessing of dominion. Pan the blessing Simba. Yechi Simba. Uh, you, are not a, you are not an Englishman. Urum boy. Simba. The blessing of dominion. Can somebody say dominion? Uh, so the Lord opened my eyes this afternoon. He says dominion is a blessing. There is a blessing of dominion. Ramba but but because you have the dominion. So when you have the dom when you have the dominion, then you break the yoke of Europe. Then you break the yoke of the white man. Then you break the yoke. Ay, 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 ay. Are you hearing me, Africa? Africa, hear the word of the Lord. You receive the blessing of dominion. When you have the dominion, so you cry out and say, Lord, bless me also. I need the blessing. Some of you, you are under witchcraft. But when you have the dominion, the blessing of dominion, then you break the yoke of witchcraft. Then you break the yoke of your brother. Then you break the yoke of your sister. Raise your hands unto heaven and begin to cry out for dominion. <laughs> Lord, I need the blessing of dominion. What is the blessing of dominion? Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is the blessing that will make you to get what you missed before. Remember, Esau had lost his birthright. Now he had lost the blessing. There are people who have lost two chances. But there is another chance. I release another chance. I said, Esau, receive another chance. I said, I know that Jacob is loved and you are hated, but still receive another chance. There's a blessing even for the hated. A Bible says when God saw that Leah was hated. He gave him an S class. When he saw that he was scandalized online. He put his signature there. I prophesy the blessing of the hated. I that is the blessing on me. No matter how much they hate you, they can't stop the blessing. <laughs> Let me teach you something. They'll say to you, your apostle is like this, your apostle is like that. All you say is he is a blessed man. That's all. All I know is he is a blessed man. Why is he taking your money? He is an Abraham. And God said, I will bless you and I will bless those who bless you. So I'm simply blessing a man with the Abrahamic blessing so I connect to the blessing. Simple. The Bible says of Israel, as the more they afflicted them, the more they grew. I don't know what it is, but there's something about persecution. It causes you to grow. It causes you to go up. The more they despise you, the more God does a showing off with you. I decree you are going up. <laughs> Just because they don't like you, God will bless you. And so I'm talking a bit about Esau. We always talk about Jacob, but I want to talk about Esau today. Uh, so we go to G Genesis 33, verse number 3. Watch this. The Bible says, And he crossed over before them. Now he's talking about Jacob here. Because... Jacob stole Esau's blessing. This is it, right? And then Esau cried and said, Father, bless me also. I want to show you the results of the also blessing. 
This is Jacob now. He crossed over before them and bowed himself to the ground. How many times? Seven times until he came near his brother. Jacob, who got the blessing, was bowing before Esau, who was also blessed. So let me ask, who was really blessed? Can I talk to people who are coming from behind? <laughs> but there's an overtaking blessing. I release that overtaking blessing upon you. But I'm telling you, the blessing will make you catch up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The blessing will give you speed and you catch up and you outrun the king's chariots. He bowed how many times? Seven times and came near his brother. Skip to verse number eight and nine. Look, are you here, someone? I hope you are receiving this mystery. Then Esau said to him, What do you mean by all this company which I met? In other words, look at me. In other words, Jacob was trying to make peace with Esau, so he brought Mangoma the offering. Are you hearing me? Because I'm not saying that Jacob was not blessed. No, he was blessed. But he was trying to make peace with his brother Esau because he had stolen the blessing. So he brought and he packaged a lot of things to try and appease his brother. And then Esau said, What is what, what drama is I achieved? What is all this company which I met? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of you. Who? My Lord. The one who was originally blessed was saying, My Lord, the one who was just so blessed. I know what can Rogumberi, but they will call you my Lord. My Lord. They will try and make peace with you because of how much God will bless you. Next verse. Then Esau said, I have enough. The Tori Keep the offering for yourself. Keep what you have for you. I have enough. I release the I have enough blessing. Uh, in other words, we remove Kushaya. We remove Kushaya. We remove Kushaya. That is the blessing of dominion. I have enough. Shout, I have enough level of blessing. Say, Lord, I want that level of blessing. That I have enough dimension. I need that dimension in my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, put that level of more than enough upon me in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I need that dimension of I have enough. I need it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You can't bribe me with the car. I have enough. Joshua Parking, I have enough. That dimension of I'm releasing it. I'm, if you are interested, I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it. Kune chini chine tu adumota ziwande. Ndo chandu kure gizera nas. Chine tu adumota ziwande. Not good to BP. You to motor carry afa. Yeah, car phone open. I'm the next one. Say more than enough. Now unto him, Ephesians 3.20, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. Unimaginable dimension of blessing and prophesy. I love God. God will do more than you think. Where your thinking ends is where God begins. Usinga zifungire. Usinga zitarisire. More than you can ask all. Don't be limited by your mind. I command the blessing. To cooperate 
with your mind. Wapeta ufunga yoba ita exceeding. Pauno ufunga uti zwa kwana. Hello? Because you see, you have not factored in overflow. The blessing will cause an overflow. Overflow. The blessing will do more than your mind. Zwa usunga tari sire. Zwa da kuitiko. Stretch your hands. I hear the Lord saying, Numbers 14, verse 8. He's about to bring you into a land. There are people under the sound of my voice that the Lord is about to bring you into land. Now notice he did not say you will look for land but he he what va no tora land vonza pa uri o va no tora iwo vokuisa pa land yako land your land your land And here's what he told me as I was meditating. He said, the land is giving you. Please stretch your hands because you need to receive this. Josh, he won't give you barren land. But he will give you land. Listen to one of the attributes of the land. It flows with milk and honey. Okay, does milk and honey come from land? No, okay. Milk comes from cows and honey comes from bees. That means this land will produce what is not produced normally by land. That means, can I, can I, because the, the, he said to me, there are people who are doing business on a land that is cursed. So the land ca cannot give you other attributes. So, so land has the ability to produce milk and honey unusual blessings of of location ay, 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 ay. today i bless your land your land will produce milk and honey not just not just produce flowing to today i unblock and i command a flowing grace a grace of flowing milk honey resources opportunities by the blessing opportunities will flow in your direction uh. Ah, one of the net geo wild. That means that from that small piece of land, you produce uncommon things. People will say things like, Are you telling me that these products came from this land? You say, Yes. Milk and honey. Water turned into wine a coin in the mouth of a fish in other words you, you, you see what Christians do Christians reject whatever is not normal and they say ah I've seen normal is you see normal do you see You will live beyond the normal. Zechariah 8, verse 12. The Bible is full of mysteries. And so for the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give its fruit. 
the ground shall give her increase and the heaven shall give her due. I will cause the remnant of the people to possess all of these. Stretch your hands. Number one, the ground shall give her increase. The heaven shall give its due. The vine shall give its fruit. The seed shall be prosperous. All of these say I will possess all these four. I believe it. I receive it. I will possess it in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, cause me to possess all four in the name of Jesus. You see, Abba, the wealth of unbelievers. In what? Karam na singa na matika anu kono ntuwa ne dengo da aite mari kudi o ite mari. Verse 14. Verse 14. For thus says the Lord of hosts, just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord, uh, and I would not relent. So he says to the level to which I was determined to punish you is the same level to which I am determined to bless you and I will not relent. Kudzama, kwanga kwa kaita namo yako. Do kudzama, kuchaita makumburero yako. The depth of your problem will be the height of your blessing. <laughs> Just as he was determined to punish you, now he's determined to bless you. Are you reading the Bible? I prophesy this over your life. I prophesy this wealth of unbelievers. Wealth of unbelievers. It shall gather for your sake. Whoever owes you, we command them to be paid so they can pay you. Can I give you a secret? Don't curse people who owe you. Huh? Because you can't be saying, this person has done not done bad. I don't know you better. You're not doing yourself a favor. Because as long as they are not paid, they can't pay you. I bless you to bless the ones who owe you so they can pay you. In your anger, don't curse the ones who owe you. Pray and say, Lord, bless them so they can settle. Stretch your hands. The grace for what is called divine settlement. Heaven is about to make sure that you are settled. Before this week is over, I prophesy as a man of God, and my words do not fall to the ground like Samuel. I prophesy Mariako Urkui Badarwa Urkui Badarwa Urkui Badarwa Pane Anetsa Ya Urku Badarwa Pane Anetsa Ya Urku Badarwa I prophesied Even as Saul was looking for donkeys and he met a mantle like you are meeting a mantle today and he got more than just donkeys I know you came here because you are in a certain problem but you, you, you will be so blessed, you will forget about the donkeys. In fact, Saul had to be reminded that he was looking for the donkeys. <laughs> I know from here you go and meet your donkeys now. No, from here you go and meet men. This one will give you bread. This one will give you gold. This one will give you silver. Oh, by the way, the donkeys have already been found. So God used problems to bring you here so as to usher you into kingship. What are lost donkeys? Monies that are owed to you. 
you came here because someone was refusing to pay you. Not understanding it was a setup for God to anoint you to be king. I bless you to become a king. I said, I bless you to become a king. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 60, verse number 3. The Bible says, the Gentiles shall come to your light. There's a light on you, which represents an anointing and a blessing. So Gentiles will come to your light. But verse 4 is really where the issue is. In fact, in, in fact, in that same verse 3, in that same verse 3, he says, and kings, not one king. You could be dealing just with one king, but the one king must bring other kings. Whoever is dealing with kings, the king must bring other kings. Kings will call each other about you. I said kings will call other kings about you. Anamambo wacha rifea na kwa uri. Listen, when a king refers another king, that king already will just deal with you. Because it means that all due diligence was done already. All vetting was done already. You will just be told, hey, you don't know this boy, but you know me. If I ever said anything that has let you down, no, you know me, so just support this boy. Yeah? Just support him. I, I, I know him. He's good for it. Yeah, yeah, but he wants 500,000 deposits. Listen. Just, 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 just pay the man. Just pay, just pay him. Just pay him. Why? Kings are going to refer other kings. It's called the blessing of kingly referrals. Nyora pass. Nyora pass. Because you are going to pray about that one. The blessing of what? Kingly referrals. Shoro madzicha refer shoro. To you. Ucha daira kumoni. Zauno zimunuya kaku intro juzo tindiani. Aku fonera. Okay. Kings coming is like people calling you today. Are, are you hearing this? So, kings will come into your inbox. Kings will come into your email. Your, your, your skills, you can switch off the icon. Your, your, your skills are about to be desired. I place, I, I, are you still here? I place a demand on your skills and on your products. <sighs> if you have never run out of stock, you are going to start now. If you have not brought your offering, bring it here. I prophesy it will become agent to bless you. Gapai take a feeling I want kings to question themselves why they delayed to promote you. Why? Why? They, they, they must apologize. Ah. Hmm. Psalm 45, verse 10, 11. 11. So the king will greatly desire your skills. 
Do you know what that means? It's one thing for you to have a crush on the king. But for the king to have a crush on you. Mambo ka kutarisa sofa na ngorudunuka. The king must be beside himself. Are, are you listening to me? It's one thing for you to market your skills to the king, but another king for the another thing for the king to look for your skills. And the king sent for Huram. The king Solomon sent for Huram. Huram did not look for the king, but the king looked for Huram. And because he looked for him, does not it a blessing? He looked for him on the marketplace. Remember this, this is class about the marketplace. In other words, what are we doing tonight? Tonight we are programming. Furniture three. Don't treat it like your usual inquiries that end up with that end up in nothing. No. People with capacity. People with capacity not only to patronize but to pay. Kings, go back to the scripture, who greatly, there's a word that no, that's no chance up. No, greatly, Gre greatly. Mambo achadisa. The Bible could have just said kings would desire greatly, not not kuda, but could isa. The king will be will then be the one who will be telling other kings about your business. They'll be saying, if you buy this car, also buy that. Maybe the young man might not tell you, but he can also do this, that, that, and the other. I hear the Holy Spirit saying that there are facets of your business that are not normally patronized. Because every business has certain facets. But kusinganyanyo wanzo it kwa business ikoko. Look of chatanga kwandi le kokoko. For example, something that you've ordered before, it had no buyer, maybe it was too expensive, you put it on the shelf. We dust off and we say, those goods, those skills, part of my skills are about to forget the eyes. This is no longer marketable. I declare and I decree that which you thought no one would want, kings, who greatly desire your beauty. The daughters of Tyre, find that scripture. The daughters of Tyre Next verse. who come with a gift. The daughters of, of Tyre, my rich cousins. I'm doing my rich cousins. I'm doing my rich you need the money. Aye. The daughters of Tyre. Never mind how they got the money. The daughters of Tyre will come with a gift. Who do people bring a gift? Somebody they value. So they will see such a value in you that they will bring a gift of honor. Koma, the rich among the people will seek your favor. That is the power 
of the blessing upon your vision. The rich among the people. Don't say even one. Aiwa. The rich among the people. I speak over your life if you are still here. The rich among the people. They must look for your number. They must call you. They must get through to you. And I declare and I decree. When they come, you will have the grace to perform. You will not underperform when the king comes. I speak it in the name of Jesus. Listen. The women who want a Boaz, Boaz is found on the marketplace. How naked Kumbaka Garabam Zere? Ruth was in the field. May you be found in the field. May your Boaz connection find you while you are in the field. May you not be off sick the day Boaz is coming. Ah, fluyo ngai bomira. And when Boaz comes, hello, he will tell them to leave bundles on purpose for you. I prophesy. The favor of things just being purposely done for you. You will not be treated like everyone. Bundles on purpose. Bundles on purpose. Because of the blessing, bundles on what? Say bundles on purpose. Say it again. Say bundles on purpose. Three more scriptures. Deuteronomy 2 verse 7. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, bless all the works of my hands. In other words, if you are working, maybe you are employed somewhere and you have a business, a side hustle, God will bless you at work and on your side hustle. That is blessing all the works of your hands stretch your hands say these hands receive tonight the blessing of the lord he says these 40 years the lord your god ha has has been with you has been with you you have lacked nothing so when you are blessed that's the end product there eh? you lack nothing so you don't pray against lack you pray for the blessing the blessing comes lack goes Deuteronomy 7 verse 13. He says, And he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb. Say, my children are blessed. The fruit of your land. Say, my land is blessed. Your grain and your new wine, your oil, the increase of your cattle, the offspring of your flock, and the land of which he swore to your fathers to give you what your forefathers did not receive by reason of this blessing you would drive to your parents house a car that they will call mashura Mashura kada imote kada yomana yomana iwe mane uno sumbu iwe iwe. Ot no 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 no. Those are tired of Wednesday night. Muchite garakumba kuku tonora. Those are tired fan birais. Kupreya shift. Tishina mada tishombera mau kundo those are tired ombera is. Mamuzika zetu when we were clapping our hands we were celebrating. Kola jato la bahaya zek. I had to love Are you here, somebody? So.
So in all these dimensions, this series is going to produce results. Finally, Deuteronomy 7, verse number 14, next verse. You shall be blessed above all the people. Leave the rest of it. <laughs> you shall be blessed above all witches. You shall be blessed above all haters, all relatives, all friends, all fans. You shall be blessed above how many? All the people. I didn't write the scripture. That means it's a possibility and I can claim it. Blessed above how many? So in your arena, you must drive better than all of them. You must live better than all of them. You must dress better than all of them. You must enjoy more than all of them. It's not pride, it's scripture you. Some are not receiving it. Stop pretending to be humble. authority scripture. How many are interested in fulfilling this scripture? Yeah, so why are you acting like you are not interested in what I'm saying? <laughs> Stretch your hands up. Say, Father, in my arena, I must be blessed above all of them. According to Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse number 14, I must enjoy, I must be above all of them pray 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 that prayer raise me above all of them so all of them can listen to me so all of them can desire my wisdom raise me above all of them he says because you love righteousness and hate wickedness therefore god even your god has anointed you above all your fellows yeah 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 it's a dimension in the spirit Psalm 45, 7. Anointed above all your companions. That's what you need. To be above all of them. Then you can be a point of reference. Hey. I want that dimension. To be blessed above all of them. And I will teach them the ways of my God. Above all of them, blessed above all of them, anointed above all of them, results above all of them, grace above all of them, joy above all of them, peace above all of them, 